Hi, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplify Guitar, and in this lesson, I wanna teach you how to play the song Welcome to Rosas from Disney's Wish. So first, I'm gonna play through the song for you, and then afterwards, I'll break it down and kind of explain it in more detail, so make sure to stick around for that. But for now, let's go ahead and play through the song. Right, so for this song, we're only going to be using three chords for the whole song, which is really nice. Now, these chords are in the G chord family, but I'm putting my capo on the second fret, so that puts me in the key of A. So the first chord is going to be the G chord, which looks like this. I've got my first finger on the second fret of the A string, second finger, third fret of the low E string, and then I've got my third and fourth finger both on the third fret of the B and the high E string. And for this one, I'm going to strum all six strings. Now, the next chord up is the C add nine. And for the C add nine, I'm gonna go from this G, I'm just gonna take my first and second finger and drop them each down one string, and that's it. So it's a very easy transition. When I strum this chord though, I don't wanna strum that low E string. So I wanna start on the A string when I'm strumming. Something you can do to help is use your thumb to just touch that low E string so it's muted. In case you accidentally do hit it, it's not gonna resonate. After the C add 9, we had the D over F sharp, and to play that, I'm going to put my first finger on the second fret of the low E string, and my second finger on the second fret of the G string, and I'm going to keep my third and fourth finger where they are. Also want to make sure that while my first finger is pressing down on that low E string, that it's purposefully muting the A string. I don't want to hear that A string, so I'm going to let it mute it, and actually, this is something we usually do by accident, but now we want to do it on purpose. And then I'm going to strum all six strings for it. Now something you'll notice for this whole song, for all three of these chords, we're not going to be moving our third and fourth finger. They're going to stay exactly where they are 
for the whole song. So we're only going to be moving two fingers, and that makes things a little bit easier for transitions. Now, if you want, you can use the traditional D major instead of the D over F sharp, and you can use the regular C major instead of the C add nine, and the song would sound fine like that. But uh, just keep in mind that those chords are going to be harder to transition between because it's a much bigger change in shape. Uh, your entire hand is changing positions completely, and that's just gonna make transitions a little bit harder. Now, where this song gets a little tricky is with the strum pattern. So we're gonna be using what's called the pop pattern. And for this one, we're going to be doing some kind of some hand percussions in the middle of this pattern. So this song is in 4-4 four, four time, meaning that we're gonna have four beats per measure. Now, right at the beginning of this pattern, for beat one, we want to strum down and then immediately strum up on the and. So we have one and, and then after the and, on beat two, we're going to do a slap percussion with our hand. And the way we do that is we're going to strum with the pick, but at the same time we do that, we're going to let the palm of our hand mute the strings at the same time that we're strumming. So it creates kind of like a snare sound, uh, which gives that percussion feel. So we have one and two, one and two. And then right after beat two, right after that slap percussion, we're throwing in another up strum on the and after beat two. One and two and. For beat three, we do nothing. We're not doing a slap percussion. We're not strumming down. We're just going to let that and ring out through beat three. And then on the and after beat three, we're throwing in another up strum. Right after that up strum, we're doing another slap percussion on beat four. And then we'll throw in another up strum after beat four. So we have four and. And that's the whole pattern, then the pattern repeats back over with beat one. So if I do it really slow and count out the beats, this is what it sounds like. One and two and three and four and 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 So there's a couple of times through this song where we're going to just pause our strumming completely uh, at the end of the verse, right before we get to the chorus, and at the end of the chorus, right before we go back to the verse. We're basically going to be on that G, and we're just going to give it a one last strum, kind of let it ring out for a measure, and then we start with the next part of the song. Now there's a series of transitions that happens in the verses when we do the transition from G to C to D and then back to G. Uh, that little transition right there, uh, each one of those chords is only lasting for half of a measure, uh, and we want to make the transitions halfway between our strumming. So for instance, on the part of the song where it says, where the greatest creations are all on display, right at the beginning of the song, we have where the greatest creations on C are all on D on display back to G. Okay, so that's where the transitions are happening. But inside the rhythm, the way this is going to work with the strum pattern, we're going to play that G for beat one and two of the measure. And then we need to land on that C on the and, on the up strum right after beat two. Okay, so we have the G for one and two and. On that and, we need to be on the C. And we're going to hold that C add nine for the rest of the measure until after beat four and. And then we switch and we should be on the D over F sharp on beat one of the new measure. So we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. 
right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care. <music>